Hello, I'm Nana. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, my dogs are going to do a taste test on the gyoza I'm going to make. Welcome to Gyoza for Dogs. If you like this video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. And let's begin. Before we get to the tasting, let's dive into how this gyoza I make. It is extremely simple and super fun to make. For the ingredients, first we have chicken breast, lean and packed with protein. If you have a small processor like me, make sure to dice the chicken breast in smaller pieces. Because I kind of broke my last one by making this mistake. Next, we have broccoli. Broccoli is super good for dogs. It's rich in fiber and vitamin C. Again, we'll cut it into small pieces. Now let's grind our ingredients together. First, put the chicken inside the food processor and we grind it up. And then we add the broccoli and again we grind it up. Ooh, it looks amazing. Look at that. This will be our fillings for the gyoza. With our fillings ready, we also need our gyoza skin. It is made of flour, water, and rolled into very thin slices. It is very easy to digest, so it is very gentle on their stomach. So now what I'm doing is put a spoonful of fillings onto the gyoza skin. Use some water to stick it up. And I use my left hand to gently hold onto it and use my right hand to gently throw it into the left hand side. Normally people could do it on right hand side as well, but I am left handed so I always do it on my left side. It is really up to you how it looks like, but it will look really nice when you fry this up. Look at this, so cute. You can also make the girls into a flower shape. It looks super nice when you steam it up. Or a traditional Chinese gold shape. Super cute. If you want to have some as well, here is a tip. Make the dog version first before adding in the seasoning. Then you solve both dinner in one go. Different ways to cook gyoza, but today we're going to pan fry with coconut oil. We are going to turn on medium heat and put in one tablespoon of coconut oil. After heated up, we will line up the gyoza nicely in a circle, then the heat would go through evenly. Cook for about 3 minutes until they are beautiful golden color. And now a secret to make it crispy. A splash of water and then cover them up. This creates a mini steam bath inside, ensuring our girls are cooked through evenly. When we open the lid, you wanted to hear these cracking noises. It is optional, but it would be really nice to sprinkle some sesame oil on top and we got this golden crispy gyoza. My dogs love the smell of the sesame oil and it is packed with healthy fats, vitamins that can help improve doggy skin and coat health, support their overall immune system and reduce inflammation. Now it is time for the ultimate taste test. Remember to wait a little bit before feeding to your dogs because it's going to be really, really hot. Say. Say. Look at me. Watch you look at me. Oh. Choco. You're not going anywhere. It's only 30 seconds. Thank you for watching. We hope you and your doggies enjoy making and tasting this gyoza as much as we did. If you wanted to learn how to make the flower and the golden gyoza, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, Shicho Arigato Zaimashita!